Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. This is example 15 of how I organize a digital marketing strategy. This time for A&J Barbecue Restaurant here in Fitzgerald, Georgia. So now these are unresearched. So the research phase is really quick, obviously, because we're not actually doing any real research. It's very minimal, let's put it that way. So the status quo snapshot is where I'd start at. And they, I found a website. It, they don't have their own domain name yet. I would definitely get that going. I'm not sure if it's mobile responsive. Didn't check. It doesn't have e-commerce yet. And um, I don't think there's an email list currently. They do have social profiles, specifically Facebook brand page. The local SEO reports Bright Local, I definitely do that and check the GT metric speed report, but just eye test, so to speak, as far as the speed, it was it wasn't bad at all. So of the but it was under a different domain and it didn't have the e-commerce. And I'm not sure I didn't check a uh, mobile. So it the idea behind the research phase is to put together, and that's why I call these unresearched, is obviously there's some research that's involved just because I have to be able to kind of give a cogent explanation, right? However, in a typical client relationship, I'm working with the research phase to put together a strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, a SWOT chart. So this is A&J Barbecue, soon to be world, or soon to be famous, I think it's the tagline. It's on a corner around the, about a mile and a half, two miles, I guess, from where I'm at. And if you search, and obviously I'm in Fitzgerald, so it showed up and Facebook is actually the top one. The menu picks is the second one. Yelp is third. And then the AJ barbecue business site, uh, something through Google. I'm not sure exactly what, how that came about. Uh, but you can see they already have a bunch of ratings all over the place, etc. And that's where that bright local local SEO report would kind of take a look at all the different reviews and ratings and the citations and just kind of know lay out a plan of okay, this is what you're going to want to do to make sure and have a specific domain name that you're sending all this juice back to. So the goal is to build brand and revenue. The POV is people within 40 miles of the physical location, the brick and mortar location, and giving them frictionless access. I mean, we use our phones these days and you can't, you can call them, but we use our phones these days at the, the least thing that we do is, is actually talk, right? As far as call somebody. So being able to actually order from their website and you know, pick it up or, go in and eat or whatever, or you know, order for big a party or catering or whatever, <clears throat> being able to do it on our time, you know, it just makes sense. So the solution would be the website would be an e-commerce website and allowing people to order. And they have so many different things that they offer. They're open Tuesday through Saturday. And pretty long hours, I think like 10 or so, 10 or 11 hours a day. It's something that if people were able to interact with it with the phone more, it would just simplify the experience and take some of the load off of the staff and kind of put it onto technology. Some Because the biggest thing that the staff does is that personable experience, you know, that front Southern hospitality. So, and obviously really good food <laughs> and they have a really extensive menu. I mean, really extensive. All right. So the a and barbecue, their normal hours of operation, and you would be adding in the website to actually pull a large share of the load 24, 7, 365. Because keep in mind, the website will be able to allow people to sign up or you know, put down payments for uh, catering or whatever, or like Thanksgiving and maybe even Christmas, they have the ability to buy you know plates from as far as for you know dinner, uh, turkey dinner with, with ham and you know stuffing or dressing or whatever, as well as a bunch of sides and so forth. So allowing people to sign up to do that automatically just once again, kind of moving some of the, the burden, so to speak, off of the staff's plate and onto uh, the website. Now, the value is just less effort for people. And I would stick with the soon to be, soon to be world famous barbecue. I just, I think that that's fantastic. Media strategy, see, 
I'd focus on people within 40 miles and I'd share secrets of you know, world famous barbecue and just Southern hospitality. They have an aura or an ethos, so to speak, and they always have. They've been there for years and they've done well, it seems. I mean, obviously unresearched, so I have no clue, but I know I've eaten there for years, my mom and other people in the area, you know, that I know of. And then obviously there's a lot. So translating that ethos into their media creation would be, and I'd lead with video and then extract audio and written from that. And you, know, you could do, they could do recipes most definitely. There's just so many different ways that they could be educational to people and treat themselves as their own media company, ANJ Media, so to speak. And I just, I think that even starting out at a weekly show schedule, but over time, I don't see any reason, especially during the summer and you know, when it's during their peak season, so to speak, I would definitely ramp up the show schedule or at least test it, right? 50 bucks a week at a minimum for the ad budget. And that's just, you know, basically just attention on the the media that they're creating, just putting it in front of people that they feel are going to be interested in it based off of your know, signals. And what I mean by that is if somebody visited their website or went to these different pages or watched this video or saw this other ad or, you know, whatever. So for me, just a general idea on the process would be I would plan the video, shoot the video, edit it, publish, and distribute it. And I know that sounds kind of, well, duh, but it's not super complicated. It's just you have to have some message that you're going to convey that's educational to the viewer, and then you have to shoot it, edit it, and you know, publish slash distribute it, you know, publish it is, is to the website in my mind and then distributing it is to all the other places. The deliverable is you get the full length video. So whatever the main message is, and then you can pull out your know, pieces from here and there. So for instance, one of my videos, I think it was example 13. Uh, it was for my, the latest iteration of my products for jsompsllc.com get online and get organized with the two products. And I was able to pull out a bunch of different sections and put those in front of people so they didn't have to watch the full 20 minute video. They could take this three minute section and this one minute section, etc. And then you're able to put those into different formats. So for instance, Instagram, you'd have a, a vertical version that's one minute and then you would have stuff for YouTube pre-roll ads and you know so it just depends on what the the plan calls for right now the distribution I focus on the standard video I put it into Wistia to embed it on the website and then Facebook brand page I'd upload organically YouTube same thing audio version I just use anchor.fm to push it to 10 podcasting platforms and then written slash images you know, you have your website, whatever, anjbarbecue.com forward slash blog is typically how I would set it up. So the store is the base of everything. When I talk about the store, I just like to be clear on it's not, it feels overwhelming when you start talking about a website, right? You're like, oh my God, there's so many different things. Well, it really isn't that complicated. Let's simplify it. And here's how I found over the last 12 years to simplify it, which is I focus on the homepage. Once you have that homepage laid out, you have your menus laid out. So my, I typically have one at the top and one at the bottom of the page, right? So all those pages have to be you know, fulfilled, so to speak, as far as I have to build those out, right? And then any widget areas on the homepage, those have to be taken care of. And the navigation menus, as I mentioned, I'm using the Genesis theme, the Essence Pro. And it's one of the themes with Genesis and by StudioPress.com that is Gutenberg optimize all of the genesis child themes are you know uh, they work well with the gutenberg update as far as the new visual builder that's coming to wordpress however there's six themes and essence pro is one of them that they've optimized even further and they have different blocks i haven't really pl i haven't played with it at all yet but i am using the essence pro theme for this and that's 130 bucks total if you never bought anything from them before and then beyond that, I mean, you lay out your digital catalog as far as what products are you going to sell, put together any plugins for functionality that you're going to need and specific to WooCommerce. And then, you know, you're going to have your media archive, right? So if you're doing, if your media playing costs are video, audio, and written, then you're going to archive each of those on this website. 
And that's the majority of it. From there, you'll build out pages as you need to, landing pages when you need to, whatever. It just it depends on what you need. You'll be able to add it going forward, but you don't have to have everything to begin with. So this is the working demo. Go to example-15, example-15, and scroll down. You're gonna see a big green button and it'll bring you over to this working demo. And that's an image that I got from, oh, from the website actually, from the, that I saw that was put together. This is, I just used it obviously differently and laid, laid things out differently. So the customer conversation, once again, two ears, one mouth, and I would add live chat and email. That's really about the extent of the change. I mean, they already do phone and in-person extremely well. I would like the live chat and the email. I really think adding the smartphone capability to actually go and place the order, it'll just, it's going to simplify it for the staff and for customers. So the campaigns, okay, so when I explain marketing, I break it down as far as you got to get attention and keep attention. You get attention everywhere but your website. You keep attention on your website. Getting attention is the easy part and keeping attention is the hard part, right? So your campaigns, those are the different categories that I typically break campaigns into. And keep in mind, I'm only going to share one example of each of these different categories. However, a lot of times there's going to be multiple going and, you know, ending and you're learning from them and kind of, you know, starting them back up as far as an iterated version moving forward, right? So as far as getting attention, I'd start with the origin story. I'd start with a video telling the story of A&J Barbecue. You can use a smartphone. This thing will do 4K, record people telling the story of it, and then just do a and edit, maybe use a lot of different music, depending, it boils down to getting that locked in so that you have it already on record, so to speak, it's documented. And, and that's a brand asset, no doubt about it. And then from there, they could interview each other, they could interview other cooks, other people, other business people in the area, other public figures around Fitzgerald, etc. I mean, there's so many different ways that they can go, but they, should go from not worrying about being an advertiser, focus more on you know, being a media company. They've always kind of done it, done their own thing anyway. And I just think the A&J media approach would work out really easily for them. Keeping attention, I'd start with an email list, build it and start talking to people every week or two. Give them a reason to open each one, you know, because that way you keep them interested. And it doesn't have to be a coupon every time either. Like it depends on your business and how you want to do it. But it doesn't always have to be a coupon. That's not the only way. You're, you you want to build the A and J brand. So, foundation admin campaigns, local citations is one that I definitely do for them because it is important as far as geographically. Because when someone searches for a restaurant on their smartphone or whatever, and they're within ten miles uh, or thirty miles or whatever of A and J, A and J wants to show up at the top of that. And part of the way that that happens is local citations. And that's name, address, and phone number of A&J Barbecue or any other business that when anytime that that name, address, and phone number shows up anywhere on the web, it you want it to match up exactly. And you want to make sure that it shows up in the proper places and that all the information is filled out in each of the different places. Because some places will, you know, some sites will allow you to have a bunch of images and others will only you know, allow three images in a specific size and some will have a long description and a short description and others won't. It just depends, right? So brightlocal.com helps take care of that and you can build them. It, some of them are $2 a site and others are five, but each of those, it uses the um, this process that these guys and gals have been putting together for and honing for years as far as over at brightlocal.com. So that's example 15, A&J Barbecue Restaurant. To do it yourself, uh, around 748 to start and then around 229 a month. It's using the Liquid Web Managed WooCommerce, the beginner plan of their hosting. It's the $50 per month drift.com. That's the two live chat operators and email. Wistia.com for the video, ho video hosting and analytics. Gather up for the customer feedback loop. That's definitely something that I would 
kick off quick for them. Yoast.com for their premium search engine optimization plugin. It's gobbledygook for people that aren't familiar with it. It just makes you easier to find. So search engines understand better what you're offering, what you're talking about, and that way they can connect you with the people that are looking for what you're talking about. Now, wistia.com forward slash soapbox is the Chrome extension that I'm using to record this. However, you may not decide to use that. They could definitely get away with a smartphone and iMovie to do some light editing as they started. And then as they started moving forward and they wanted to invest a little bit more, they could outsource some of it or bring somebody in house or any number of possibilities. 130 bucks for the studiopress.com as far as for that Essence Pro theme. And if you have questions, Jason at JasonHobbsLLC.com. It's me, 912-381-6318 is my cell. If you call and I don't have your number, I'm not going to answer. So leave a message and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Yeah, I'd love to hear from you if you have questions or obviously if you're interested in working with me, you can head over to Get-Online or get Dash organize on jasonobsllc.com. So if you're not online yet, go to get dash online. If you are online, but it's an unhappy situation, then, and you'd like some help, then jasonobsllc.com forward slash get dash organized. And I should link those up below. So uh, below wherever you're watching this video when possible. So, all right. The 16th, I think I'm going to have it. I might do an extra one this week because this is Wednesday afternoon that I'm finishing up and I, I'll be able to publish this in the next hour or two. I mean, I'm not going to publish it, but I'll have it scheduled to publish tomorrow morning at nine. And then I think I'm going to try and come up with another one for Friday and do an additional one this week and try and do an additional one. So three a week for the rest of the year into the new year is the goal. So if you have any special requests, Jason at JasonOpsLLC.com. Let me know.